So we have a new open source model that is incredible. Uh, this is coming from Juan 2.2. This is their animate model where you can swap characters. So you can see here, uh, they're putting Sam Altman's face into a bunch of different um, famous movie scenes here and uh, including Elon Musk, which is kind of fun. And um, yeah, this is pretty incredible. So now we're able to um, do these very advanced face swaps, character swaps and motion transfers. And this is open source. I can't stress how important that is, open source. That means there's no limitations, there's no content restrictions. Um, this could go in a lot of negative ways, so I'm not telling you to use this in any negative way, but having the ability to have this kind of uh, model, open source is huge, it's massive. Um, so I'm gonna show you how this works, I'm gonna show you some examples, and then I'm gonna explain how you can run it at the end of the video. So if you're interested in learning how to actually use this, stick to the end of the video, and I'm gonna show you how you can do this yourself. So. Um, the first thing uh, I'm going to show you is, um, so this is a really cool example, but I'm going to show you a few more. So this is a guy who's doing uh, a bunch of different face swaps here. So um, he's actually also doing a, li a lip sync test. So I just did a video on lip syncing. Um, I've had a few of those on my channel now. Uh, he's, he's comparing this to Runway Act 2, which is, um, aside from the Higgs field options I showed you in another video, uh, probably one of the best ways to, um, to use lip sync with AI video, but check out how cool this is. He does like a ton of different face swaps uh, with lip sync, and here's the video that he's starting this all out with. Check this out. This is a lip syncing test with one animate. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck would chuck wood? Now I'm speaking very fast to see if it's gonna actually mimic my facial expressions. Uh, hello, it's limited to 15 seconds. Three, two, one, done. What do you guys think? This is a lip syncing test. So, um, Really, really consistent, right? Um, the actual movement of the mouth, the expressions of the face, so the driving performance um, is mimicked very, very well um, through the character animations. Um, you can see that he can use um, pretty much any character he wants here, um, and it's happening very, very fast, and he's actually doing this um, for HD video, uh, 720p with a vertical reel style. So. I'll tell you right now, this is going to absolutely slam the UGC, um, you know, user generated character uh, model, you know, that people are using to run ads on like TikTok, uh, Instagram reels, YouTube shorts, things like that. Um, you can basically create your own influencer that can say whatever you want now, right? I can create, you know, voices in 11 labs. I can use driving videos like this. Um, and I can now mimic and create any character I want, right? So um, the the realm of catfishing and uh, even just UGC like ads and things like that is about to blow up. Uh, if you wanna see a whole ad uh, video on UGC ads and things like that, drop a comment below, let me know you wanna see that and I'll create a full guide on UGC ads so that you can do um, those kind of ads on, on your own. And I'm gonna show you how to create some incredible ads um, with that style as well. Um, so another really, really great um, option for using this new model, again, open source model. You can run this locally with no restrictions and 100% free, which again, I'm gonna show you in a little bit. So one last thing I wanted to show you um, what this model can do is it actually can animate like characters, right? Not just humans, right? But it can actually animate like cartoon characters, right? So we've all seen like uh, people wearing those, those green suits with all the dots on them, right? That they're using to animate for movies, right? Where they're carrying a sword or whatever, or going through fight scenes. Um, and then people take those and then they animate them later to be like, you know, whatever character they want for a movie, TV show. Um, you can now do that with AI. Check out how, how good this works and how cool this looks. Pretty incredible stuff. So, um, yeah, I mean, basically it's just adding an image, adding a driving video and boom, it's perfect. It's exactly um, what you want, right? And and it's it's really just as simple as going into the app, uploading an image, right, for a first frame, um, using the character swap um, and creating it. So I'm gonna run you through this process right now. I'm gonna show you like the easy way on uh, how to do it online. Um, and then I'll show you how to use um, something like Comfy UI to run it locally. Um, which is slightly bit more advanced, but but I'll show you that process as well. So the easy way to do this is to come over to wand.video um, and just go to wand to animate, right? So um, it's really that simple. Um, you can come here and you can just try it here. You can see showing a bunch of examples of a driving performance and all the characters um, that he can animate with this performance, right? So this is again more for, um, that would be more for like, 
character animations for videos, TV shows, things like that. Um, but again, you could definitely use this for face swaps as well. So I'm gonna just show you real quick how this works. So if we come here, um, we can create an avatar, right? So character image. So I can upload an image here. So I can choose from history. Um, so I don't have any in here now, but I could upload a character image. So let me just do that right now. And um, I could upload speech and audio, right? Um, and then this is actually gonna be sort of like a lip sync. So this is speech to video, um, but I can also do character swaps. If I wanted to do like a lip sync, this would be the way to go. Um, if I wanted to do a character swap, I'll show you how that works. So we'd have a target video, right? So I would upload a video of um, whatever I wanted to be the target video, right? So, you know, if you've used any face swap tools, something like that, right? So I could come here, um, I could take a video and then I could come here um, and upload another image. And I could switch out the faces, right? So I can take a target video, I can take a face, and I can switch out the video um, doing that, right? So it's, it's actually really, really simple. So it's essentially like a face swap, right? And again, this is open source. If you're using their website, you're gonna have some content restrictions. Um, so to do this open source correctly, you're, you're gonna wanna use something like Comfy UI. Um, and then the last one is photo animate, right? So um, we can take a character image, right? Which is what I was showing you here in this example. So like a picture of Einstein, a picture of, uh, you know, or even like a cartoon character, like here, right? Take a cartoon character. And then you have your driving performance, right? Like what he's doing here, where he's actually creating a performance video and it'll actually animate that video. So essentially I could come here, I could upload from device, right? I could take, um, a picture here, and then I could upload an action video. And yeah, as simple as that, I could generate this um, and it will switch them out, right? Basically a, a face swap, but a character swap, not just a face swap, a full character swap. Um, and yeah, that's basically how it works. It's really, really simple to do this online on their website. Now, if you wanted to go the more complex way, but the less restricted way, we would use something like Comfy, right? So we go to comfy.org. Um, I have a, another video on Comfy UI. Check that out on my channel. Um, if you want to see me drop a full Comfy UI tutorial, like a full breakdown of how to use Comfy um, in like a very complex way, drop that as well, um, and I will definitely make that for you. So there's two ways to use Comfy. There's Comfy Cloud, uh, which is on wait list right now, so you're gonna have to wait for that, which is basically running it in the cloud. Um, and then you can download it locally. You could also do something um, called runcomfy.com, which is basically the same thing. Um, like a Comfy UI cloud that you could run Comfy on uh, here as well. And it basically spins up a server where you could run Comfy UI. But if you have a good enough computer, if you have enough VRAM, you can run Comfy locally. So essentially all you would do is just download it, install Comfy UI, right? Set up your location where you want this to go. All right, so we have a fresh installation of Comfy UI. Um, I'm gonna give you like a super quick tour. Essentially the way it works is you have a node library, which is all the different things you can use to create images, videos, et cetera. Um, you have a model library of the actual models that do that. You can create workflows, which I'm sure you might've seen these complex workflows, but the easiest way to do it is to get started with a template or an existing workflow. So you can see here that they have a bunch of templates um, right out of the box. We have image generation templates. Um, we have video generation templates. Um, so if I go to video, we have like all, so one right now is obviously one 2.2 is the best a video, so you have their text to video model, image to video model, first and last frame. Um, they actually even have like a lip sync model here built right in. So tons of really cool stuff right out of the box. Um, but if you wanna actually use this specific new um, animate uh, model here, right? And this animate workflow, you're gonna have to come here. So they have an official um, Reddit. So it's uh, Comfy UI. I'm gonna link to this as well. I'm also gonna link to this specific um, thread on Reddit with the workflow and the models that you're gonna need. So I'm gonna come here and hit download link and that's gonna actually download the workflow. I've already done that. And then you can just take this JSON file, um, come over to Comfy and just drag it right into Comfy. And you're gonna see here, um, it's gonna tell you that you're missing a bunch of nodes, right? So you can install all the missing nodes, right? And then if you try to run this model, um, which I'm not gonna do that right now, but if you try to run this model, it's also gonna tell you that you're missing um, the actual models itself. So you're gonna have to download all the nodes and all the models for this. You can see they're all red for that reason. 
Um, but essentially, once you've downloaded those, which is super simple, you can do it in the model manager. You can you can uh, download, uh, install the custom missing nodes, right? So it's telling you everything that's missing here. Um, or you could do it in that prompt when you when you run this. When I load this up, it'll tell me everything that's missing. Um, so it makes it super easy for you. Or you could come through here and actually just download um, the models that you need and upload these manually um, as well. Again, if you want a full comfy tutorial, just let me know. But this is essentially how you would run this locally with zero restrictions and be able to do whatever you want with this model, right? So, um, and then obviously that would be 100% free as well. You don't have to pay for credits. You're using your own PC. Um, so that's pretty much it. That's how that's how this works. Um, this latest model here from from Juan 2.2. I'm super impressed with it. I'm gonna keep bringing you videos like this. If you want to keep seeing videos like this, subscribe to the channel. If you like this video, give it a like and drop a comment. Let me know if you have any questions on this and what other videos you'd like to see me make.